Aussie broadband shares surge. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian Heiser here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Grab your stein of coffee and let's have a look at this article from the Market Herald discussing Aussie broadband, the IPO that is just listed on the ASX, code ABB, and it has surged. It has surged from the initial price or the IPO price of $1. Right now it is sitting at $1.90. So it's just gone down one cent. And I mean, this is the market opening. Everything is neutral. This, you know, 52 week high was at $2.22. The 52 week low was at $1.74. And this is only for a few days of trading. If we jump over here, we can look at the technical analysis. And everything is neutral slightly to the sell. If we go to one week, still neutral, one day, still neutral, four hours. Yep. One hour, 15 minutes. There we go. 15 minutes. The oscillators are saying bye with one buy, one sell, and four neutral. And the summary, here we go, is uh, is neutral, moving averages, strong sell. So we can see all here. I mean, it's only been going, if we go down to one minute, let's see how it's saying that. Same thing, sell, sell, sell. So quick, guys, you know, no overviews, or what, no ideas yet, no overviews, it's still all very new because it's only listed on the market a few days ago, everyone. Did you buy into Aussie broadband, guys? Did you take advantage of it? It wasn't open to everyone. I, as a customer, tried to get some. I haven't, I'll haven't. i have to find out, wait for the mail to come in the post. Because, well, you know, it's it's a company I'm familiar with and company I use. I, I got a referral code for Aussie broadband down below. Uh, and, you know, I quite enjoyed the, the quality of their product. So, ASX investors flocked to ABB today, nearly doubling the Teleco's share price on the first day of trade. Listed under the code ABB, the telecommunications stock soared 91% on Friday, pricing shares at $9, uh, sorry, oh, $9, it's uh, touch wood, $1.91 before the weekend. Aussie's IPO proved a hit with customers, institutional and retail investors, with the $40 million capital raising Close, closing oversubscribed within 75 minutes. Wow. Wow. The 40 million shares issued at $1.00 a pop. ABB carries an indicative market capitalization of $190 million. Heading into next week, Aussie broadband shares are worth just under $2. So, ASS, ASX investors flocked to Aussie broadband, nearly doubling the price. So, here speaking to today's... Li Listing, Aussie Managing Director, Chief Executive Philip Britt expressed how grateful he was for the shareholders, customers and employees who led the IPO success. This day marks the beginning of the next phase of our journey, he said proudly. ABB's IPO proved a hit with its customers. I've already read that. The, tel the Telco's successful listing sees it join a suite of public companies competing in the national broadband network space specifically the telecommunications stock provides nbn subscription packages to a wide range of customers be it residential small business or enterprise over financial year 20 abb set up around 112,000 new residential connections and brought in 190 million a 90, 91% increase on the year-on-year -year statistics. Currently, Aussie Broadband services over 300,000 residential, small business, and enterprise customers. But investment firm Chester Asset Management has already thrown its support behind the newly listed business, encouraged that Aussie's founders are still at the wheel, both as major stakeholders and management personnel. For Chester, the Aussie, uh, Aussie business has a number of impressive features that support our decision to invest in the IPO, said portfolio manager Luke Howard. The facts that these key personnel will own more than a quarter of the shares on issue post-listing ensures healthy alignment of interest with new shareholders from the outset, he continued. Closing off today's IPO announcement, CEO Philip Britt said the company would keep up the exceptional customer service which supported its growth. Our investors are telling us they want to become part of the business that is operating with incredibly strong ethics and values, that is contributing in unique ways to the Australian community and economy, that has a heart and treats its people well, 
They want to be part of the Aussie broadband story. As we see this, their capital grow with us, he concluded. Heading into next week, they're just worth under $2. And I, I mean, last time I called up Aussie Broadband to get some support, I was asking the staff there, you know, if they were getting a good deal. You know, were they getting some shares? And they're saying, oh, we can't talk about that. But yeah, we're being taken care of. So hopefully they got, they got a nice little bonus for working with your company. So let's have a look here at the, the announcement, you know. We'll go to the company overview. So Aussie Broadband is an Australian-owned and operated telecommunications company that was formed in 2008. The company provides NBN subscription plans and bundles to residential homes, small businesses, not-for-profit, corporate enterprise, and managed service providers. Aussie Broadband also offers a range of other telecommunications services, including VoIP, mobile plans, and entertainment bundles through its partnership with Fetch TV. As a licensed carrier, the company provides these services through a wholesale agreement with MBN Co., a mix of leased bulk haul infrastructure from third parties and its own network equipment. So as of June 2020, the company provided approximately 243,000 residential MBN connections. In financial year 20, Aussie Broadband added approximately 112 net new residential connections and generated total revenue of 190 0.49 million. Wow, over 300,000 residential business and enterprise customers. So it's a growing brand and people are familiar with it. Are you a fan of Aussie broadband, guys? Do you use it? You know, how have you found it? Let me know in the comments while I have a shot of coffee. So continued focus on strong top line growth and investment in their own network in financial year 2021. So, I mean, I looked at this as, well, the old rule, a company that I'm familiar with, a product that I use, and an opportunity to grow. I think there'll be more and more people working from home. So, we'll have to see. Let's have a look at the top 20 shareholders. So, Digital Interworks Proprietary Limited, they've got 10.27%. Intertubes Proprietary Limited have also 10.27%. Ian Watson Holding Company, 7.66 HSBC custody nominees Australia has 6.99 Panama Trail proprietary limited has 6.38 National nominees limited 5.75 Mawson investments number nine proprietary limited 5.42 Merrill Lynch Australia 4.82 UBS nominees 4.79 David Swan Holdings Company, 4.35. CS Third Nominees, Proprietary Limited, 3.09. Mainstream Fund Services, 2.89. BNP uh, Paribus Nominees, 2.54. Citicorp Nominees, 2.42. Cambenic, 2.31. JVB Super Proprietary Limited at 2.2. Tiger Tradings Proprietary Limited at 1.68. JP Morgan Nominees Australia at 1.16. And 58 Jack Proprietary Limited at 0.72. And Soberno Proprietary Limited at 0.56. So for the top 20 investors in this, they've got 86.27% of the business. The rest of us plebs <laughs> have... 13.73 is that it only 5288 have got the rest the other 26 million shares there you go and it's all well up 91 percent we'll have to see how it goes what do you think everyone you know some big names here that have invested in it do you think the company will be able to maintain the brand reputation that it that it has going forward are you a fan of the brand? Do you use them? Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. Have you bought in the IPO and you're just going to flip for a quick buck or are you holding on for the long term? As always, thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe to the channel. If you're a fan and want to support the content I create here, there are a few ways you can. You can join the channel on YouTube or Patreon. You can support us using our affiliate links at Amazon, eBay, Independent Reserve or KuCoin. You can buy a merch from Heiser Says, use Gold Pass from the Perth Mint or support us via PayPal. Take care, have a great day, and I will see you all next time.
Bye for now.